So in this discourse of John chapter 5, we have word soup from Jesus. Quite long uh, discussions and long monologues from Jesus, and it's kind of hard to keep track without a flowchart of all the way, all the things he's talking about. That's just the way that John, the, the gospel author, happens to write. But we can pick out um, some things to take home with us and to take to the table with us by pairing this gospel reading with uh, Moses, who is talking to, sorry, God who's talking to Moses in the Old Testament in Exodus about that pesky golden calf that they made. We all know that story of how Moses went up to the top of the mountain to receive the law, to talk with God, and to find out how finally we can be in perfect relationship with him. And what's he come back to? Even worse than your kids throwing a house party when you're gone for the weekend. They're worshiping a golden statue in the image of a cow because they're sick and tired of being in the desert. So, the analogy continues for us even today, even after the resurrection, even after we have the Eucharist, even after we have everything that Jesus has done for us. No, we don't build golden animals, and we don't kill animals to sacrifice and appease them so that we'll have a good harvest, but we still do worship at altars that are not God's. And part of this Lenten season is to identify each of the personal altars that we have in our homes of our hearts. Maybe you remember your grandparents having little altars, or even at, Saint, uh, at Holy Family we have a little votive rack of candles um, dedicated to prayers, maybe to Mary, maybe to St. Joseph. And in the old, very old days, there were separate altars to each saint asking for their intercession. Um, but we do that in our own hearts, not in the same way, not an altar of sacrifice, but we sacrifice our time, our energy, and our emotions. So part of Lent is to acknowledge what are those false altars, those false idols, those false gods, which we still sacrifice to and celebrate. Maybe it's NFL. Maybe it's too much time spent on a phone. Maybe it's a relationship or a friendship that we really, really want to be more than it should be. Maybe it even is false religion. We can put a lot of weight in trying to be worthy and trying to be holy and trying to appear that way so that God will love us. So, I, um, for me, it's uh, spending too much time waiting to get things started because I'm afraid that I'll mess it up. So why even start in the first place? You can't mess up if you don't even start, right? So I guess procrastination, I guess you could say, would be mine. So this part of Lent and what uh, my prayer for as we receive this Eucharist together is what are the idols, what are the golden calves, what are the false gods that we still worship at and still like to sacrifice at? Because God wants to smash those altars. He wants to make it so that all our happiness and everything can be found in him who is the bread of life, who is the light, and who is the way. Amen.